We are headed to the Intimidator for the very first ride of the day. It's uh, past 10.30. We got here later than usual. Had a bunch of complications. But now, we are going to have Sean's first ride as the Intimidator. For today, anyway. We were here yesterday. I didn't get a lot of that yesterday. Uh, we were focused mainly on the haunt yesterday. And uh, Caitlin and I actually had the fast lane for renewing our season pass. So we got a few things done, including the Intimidator. But right now, it's going to be Sean's very first time on the Intimidator. Are you excited? A little bit, are you but nervous? I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> We're getting closer. Surprisingly, this is on a Saturday and I don't see a lot of people around here, but I know it's gonna get really, really busy. Always does on Saturday. Never been here one Saturday where the, uh, well, pretty much anything doesn't have a long line. So we'll see how the line is at the Intimidator, if it's running. The past three or four times that I've actually been here, not including yesterday, it has been down. We are hoping, Very upsetting. We are, we are really hoping it's running, especially me, because it's been so long since I've been on that route. To the left over here, we have the volcano. Actually, I actually haven't seen it running yet. I'm sure it is running. It is running? You seen it? Okay. So she's seen it running. We got lockdown over here. Oh, it's Oh, you talking about the Intimidator? And there is no line at all right now. Usually, Intimidator doesn't really have a long line, but later on in the day, especially on Saturdays, I do experience long lines here. So let's see how Sean feels on his very first ride on the Intimidator. He's kind of nervous. All right, Sean, you, we just got off the Intimidator for the second time. We rode it back to back. What do you think of it? Hey, man, it was pretty badass. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Dude, that ride is fun as hell, man. The back row is fucking awesome. We did ride the, uh, we rode closer to the front the first time. And right after that, Sean and I went to the very back row, the very last seat. And uh, from those two seats, which one would you recommend, Sean? Very bad. <laughs> Very bad. It is so fun. Now we're headed to Volcano, which is right over here. Uh, hopefully it's not a long line. If it is, we might wait if it's not too long, because it is really early in the day. So uh, we'll see what happens. My voice kind of cracked right there. Sorry about that. Uh, walking up the queue line to the Volcano. Uh, as of right now, I don't see nobody. There's the Avalanche, by the way. Sean has yet to ride this one. I say we wait. This should go without question, but Sean really enjoyed the volcano. And uh, I can already tell you, this is only his second day. Yesterday was his very first day, and it was from 7 p.m. to 12 a.m. But I can tell he's going to like anything that he rides, including <laughs> that Intimidator right there that he thinks is his favorite. But right now, we're going to head to the Flight of Fear and uh, let him experience that for the first time. You excited? Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, let's get to it. We are headed in the spaceship, or the UFO, whatever you want to call it. There's some aliens over there. You probably can't see it. It's really blurry, so I'm going to not keep this. And I got a line behind me, but this is the queue line for the Flight of Fear. I'm trying to hurry up. I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera off and ride the ride. Yes, I'm going to do that. Oh, I can't see. All I see is your face. You can get front row in front of everybody else. So it's a fast lane front row. Damn. If you download it. Just for downloading this app. Yeah, it's uh, Battle for King's Dominion. So if you download this app, you get a uh, free fast lane for one ride. Yep. One ride only. That's good to know. You're all up in this camera, just so you know. We need to use that at the, at the end of the night. When it gets really busy, yes. Everybody download we just got off the uh, Intimidator. We did ride the Flight of Fear, uh, and I have not downloaded it yet. We did ride the Flight of Fear. Sean loved that as well. He's going to love every ride, like I mentioned before, but we did that. Then we saw the Intimidator line was really short. We got on there, and now we're headed to the Anaconda, which is this ride right here. Our next stop is the Anaconda. Just in case you wonder if the uh, drink plan is worth it, the drink plan is $30 for unlimited drinks every 15 minutes the entire season. Uh, if you don't get it, then you can spend $4 on a Powerade or, uh, well, what else do we got? We've got a monster here. $28 for a large pizza. 
Yeah, it is. It's twenty eight dollars for a large pizza. We did that one time. It, I don't. I don't think it's worth it. But I mean, it was a decent pizza. You can get uh, a water for four dollars. Pretty much four dollars is your uh, is your uh, price for most of the drinks. Now, if you're only going for one day, I wouldn't recommend the uh, drink plan if you don't plan to drink a lot. But if you're going for, if you got a season pass and go for a while, I would definitely recommend getting the drink plan. How was it? That was great. Now it's your turn to do it. No. Yeah, it's your turn. How was it? It's not that bad. <laughs> it's bad. It's not that bad. I'm never gonna ride it. I'm sorry. It's really not that bad. You ride if the Intimidator multiple times, but you won't ride this. What? If we can get Cody to ride the boat, will you ride it? Probably not. Oh. Well, that's what I'm saying. Cody's gonna ride it. Cody's gonna ride it. Probably not. This is going to be his first time doing the Extreme Staff Flyer here at King Submitting. This is my second time, but first time pulling the ripcord right here. I can't do this. Okay. You're saying you can't do this. He's got the ticket. He's got the ticket. We ran into this guy over here, and he has convinced Cody to ride the Sky Flyer. And Cody is so hesitant. He's so hesitant. But I believe he can do this. You got this, Cody. You got it. You got this. All right, so Cody actually is checking out, like we thought. He's not doing this. I had to take the spot, or else it'd be money wasted. They're not refundable. Can't really get your money back. So uh, yeah, I'm going with this guy, and just met him today. So I don't even. Yeah, he won't pull. You'll be up there. Darian, I'm with Darian. Now we're gonna have a great time flying for a second time. Just got off Scott Flyer for the second time today. Um, I'm not sure what else we're gonna do, but I do have to save some time for the hunt. So I will see you guys during the hunt. There are some of the uh, scare actors getting ready for the resurrection. At least I'm pretty sure that's what they're getting ready for. They still have about an hour, so I don't know what else they'd be doing. Unless they're probably going to another hunt. I think. Uh, yeah, they might be going to one of the mazes. So, that's kind of interesting. I didn't expect to see them walking through here. We're currently sitting here waiting for a tollway terror to open up. They're finishing up with the people that's in line now. And the line technically starts right there, where that guy is sitting. So, we have about an hour wait. And I figured we might as well, because any other ride, you're going to be waiting an hour or more just to ride them. So, this is going to be uh, really interesting. Oh, and there's there's another person that's like, yeah, that's great. <laughs> I've always found this to be a very like fun ride, and people are talking over top of me. What are the Nobu necklaces? The Nobu necklaces? How much are they? Gather before me, creatures of the night, and rejoice. For Halloween Haunted King's Dominion is finally upon us. Feast your eyes on those who would have you caged for all eternity. Your victims have arrived. All you fear is here. We are now in the hunt. Uh, we just got off of the Tollway Terror. It was okay. I expected more, but you know, it's whatever. 
A lot of people are getting scared right now. I can't find my way out of this room. <laughs> Someone can't find their way out either. There's a lot of people out here. This is the line for no vacancy. And this is the line that we're going to wait in. Right here. It starts right here. Yep. No, don't. It don't start right here. What am I talking about? I don't even know. I think it's right here. No. There's people waiting over there. Oh. I know it's dark for you guys. My camera's not good for low light, but there is a lot. I mean, a lot of people. If you're familiar with the park where the uh, theater is, where usually they have, right now they have the toy car. But around there, you go from the theater all the way. Well, I was going to say to the airbrush, but I think it stops right here. This is the line. And it looks like we have a long wait. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. <laughs> this is long. We should have just gone to the blackout. I mean, we have a chance to get. This is the bag. We came in. So we're gonna go to blackout instead. Let's go to blackout. Yeah. This is the line for no vacancy. Okay. Uh, so that's one of the Hey, um, I think I think we've been waiting in the line. I, I thought you weren't going to. Why, why are you covering the camera? <laughs> there you are. I miss the moving seats in the theater so bad. I'm not sure how well my camera's gonna do with this, but we are headed through the lair. You gotta keep up. That was the lair. We are headed to the, uh, what's it called? Prison break, prison outbreak, whatever the prison uh, haunted house is. That's where we're headed. But now we are going through the clown scare zone. There are so many people. We have arrived. of the Cleaver Brothers Carnival, which is the Clown Scare Zone. Oh my God. Well, this is the line for the Intimidator. As you can see, it stretches almost all the way out here. And I don't plan to wait that long. And we were gonna go to the, uh, oh, it's called Lockdown, by the way, the prison uh, thing. It's called Lockdown. And the line goes all the way in there and
It goes from there all the way down. I know you can't really see too well, but I'm going to take you all the way to the end of the line. So we're still going all the way down here. And continuing to go all the way. And then it goes in and loops back Down to right here. So this is the end of the line. And you go all the way down there. And uh, none of us plan to wait on that. So we're going to go to something else. Okay, so blackout. All the way over there. I want you guys to see the line for this. Just like I did the last one. The line for this. Goes all the way up here. And we're going all the way. Well, for those of you that's unfamiliar with uh, King's Dominion, I'll just explain to you guys, uh, well, pretty much just walk through this so you guys can see how long of a walk it is in line. Now, earlier it was actually back there when we tried it, but now it's wrapping around this way. And uh, I can't tell where the end is now. Hold on. Let me get over here. We're still going. The line is still all the way down here. I apologize if it gets blurry. But I'm doing this just to show you the end of the line, which is right here. So this is, this is the end of the line. And I want to give a shout out to one of the monsters that work here that I met with earlier. He gave us a code that we had to tell the Fright Lane people, the uh, guys working the Fright Lane. And we got to skip this entire line. We got there in like less than five minutes. So a big shout out to you if you're watching this. And uh, we greatly appreciate that. It was a lot of fun. We're going to hit it through Fairy Tales. So what we're going to do now is walk through the Cleaver Brothers Carnival one last time, which will then let us go through Ironworks, and then we're going to head out of the park.
since we have completed walking through the Cleaver Brothers Carnival, we are now headed towards Ironworks and then to uh, the Eiffel Tower and then out of the park. We are now headed through Ironworks. To the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> Next stop is to leave the park. Even the line for the elevator to go to the top of the Eiffel Tower is a lot longer than usual. As we head out of the park, we get a good look at the red water. I do want to point out before we absolutely leave since they're right here the gravestones I know most of you who are familiar with Kings Mini know about them but the uh, gravestones or the, the tombstones they are of the past rides or attractions that they've had and uh, it shows the date that they open and the date that they close so I think that's a really cool thing that they have in the park this is also a uh, refresh station. Did you want something to drink? I'm gonna get one last one before we leave. All right. Yeah, I might get me one too. Full cool effect lighting, atmospheric fog effects, and graphic scenes throughout the park. The park How would you rate your experience? It was pretty good. Uh, From a one to 10, what would you say? Probably nine, just because of the waiting. If it wasn't oh. so packed though, it would be like, a 10 all the way. If during the day in the morning when you didn't have to wait so much, it was definitely a 10. What's uh, your favorite ride? View it for the is that one. roller coasters or all of them together? All, like, what is your number one top favorite ride Damn. that you rode? Probably the Intimidator. 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 All right. And then after that, it has to be either the Sky Flower or the Drop Tower. Before entering the park turnstiles, please make sure that each member of your party has their ticket.